Hello, I am Pepino here, and I am back, and I am in the nether right now. The main reason I'm here is so that that uh, nether wart that I have planted will grow. But I figured while I'm here, I could explore this fortress some more. Uh, so I'm going to head down into the fortress and see what I can find. There's a blaze already. Alright. Bring it on. Ah. Alright, got him. Alright, you dropped one blaze rod. That's good. So let's look for some more here. Alright, these tunnels are kind of cool. Because normally this would be open, but it spawned into the side of a hill. So there's uh, just netherrack tunnels going around and huh this is sweet this is like completely enclosed because of how this fortress spawned but it's huge like it's like a big valley in the middle of the nether because normally these bridges uh, have huge drop offs down to lava but because of the way this spawned the lava lake's down there, but there's just this field of soul sand and uh, walls of netherrack here. I'm going to have to make sure that I remember how to get to this place because this is awesome. So, probably shouldn't build out of wood. Uh, the nether is known for fires. So, I'll build out of. Uh, out of cobble and then I just head this way and uh, I'll remember how to get back to there or how to get back from there that'll show me how to get to there uh, for those of you who don't understand my uh, system what I'm doing is like these arrows are pointing so like where there's the pillar and then the one that's the way I want to go so that'll show me how to get to there the one over there will show me how to get out and uh, this here will uh, help me find my way there and back and stuff so that's what I'm doing basically is uh, these pillars are just for navigation Alright. I think I found a blaze spawner. Yep, there's a blaze spawner up here. And a couple blaze. Alright, I got him. Now, I don't want to destroy the spawner. But what I do want to do is enclose it. First, I gotta eat. But blaze spawners, I figured out, uh, the most efficient way, at least the way that I prefer to use for uh, farming blaze, is to enclose their spawners, get like the smallest little opening possible for them to fly around so you can kill them quickly. So let's just do this. And if you can uh, enclose their spawners, then they are much easier to kill because they aren't flying all over the place and you can hit them easier alright so just like that and see oh, he still got me but it's a lot easier than uh trying to fight them completely out in the open. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, that's really close. All right. I gotta go until I heal. I can't afford to die right now. I would lose a lot of experience. Oh, that one spawned behind me somehow. I'm gonna have to make sure that that doesn't happen right now. Uh, but I have at least found a spot where I can farm blaze so uh, 
I will remember that. Head over there, and that's my blaze farm. I'm just gonna go like this so that I make sure I won't ever fall into there. And, oh, here he comes. I'd like to heal up a little bit more, but I guess right now, one spawn, so I'm gonna go fight it. Alright, I'd like to get him to come over here. Oh, there's two of them. Alright, well, I'm almost healed. There we go. Oop. Don't break my marker, stupid blaze. Alright, come on. I'm going blaze hunting. And there we go. This seems to be working pretty well for the most part. And uh, what I'm going to want to do too is close this off like that and maybe put a door there eventually. I break that out so that uh, I can hit them easier. But if I put a door there eventually that will help me ensure that they aren't going to be spawning behind me. And I can just sit here all day and just farm blaze. Okay, I have uh, improved my little uh, design a little bit here. And basically what I did is I made it so they don't have hardly any area to spawn other than right where I can kill them easily. So what I did is I put this here so they have to spawn up here, and this here so they can't be here. So when they're in the front row, they have to be on these bottom two blocks so I can hit their feet basically and see I can just sit here and hit their feet and they can't get to me and if they're back here they have to be up here meaning that the angle they shoot from they can't hit me so the only time I'm in any danger whatsoever is when they spawn like right here then I just need to be heads up and turn around and kill them so I can actually probably just go like that so that uh they can't really spawn in behind me either. So what I got to do to get up, I'll put that there. And then there we go. So that is uh, my way, um, in what is in my opinion one of the most efficient ways to uh, secure a blaze spawner so you can farm them easily. All right, come here. Okay, so uh, my sword is almost out of durability, so I'm just going to kill a couple more blaze here. And then I'm going to have to head back to the overworld. You can see there, I'm getting low, but I got 16 blaze rods right now. So uh, I think that was a pretty good day. I'll just head back because I don't want my sword to run out. And then I happen to uh, meet a blaze or something on the way back. Uh, but I'd say this was a pretty successful day in the nether, and also I gained a lot of experience, which I think I might try and enchant something soon, and uh, I also got, what was that, magma cube somewhere, I'm not sure where, uh, oh, forgot forgot to follow my own navigation system here but uh I found that huge open area in the nether and I got uh oh gas gas look out um here's my first run in with a gas I've had uh, hopefully I can just get out of here without too much injury Alright. I gotta make a break for the portal. 
that guest watching over me here. All right, let's do it. All right, he's pretty far away, but they can see really far. So I'm going to want to get the heck out of here as quickly as I can. All right, there we go. Bye-bye, guest, and bye-bye, another. I will see you guys later. All right. Oh, hey. What's going on? No, 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 no. What happened? Why are you here? Ah, uh, oh, water, water, water. Okay. No, no. God, stay out of there. What are you doing? What? No. Ah. What? What happened? Why were you... Well, that is not how I wanted to start my time back here. Uh, courage glitched out and jumped into fire, not once, but twice. And I couldn't put him out, but why was he up there? He was supposed to be sitting in our house. Uh, well, that sucks. We have had our, uh, our first pet death of the Let's Play. Uh, Kitty, I have some bad news. Yeah, Courage is not upstairs anymore. Uh, he died. Yeah, so you're, you're home alone now. Uh, this is your territory. So just, I guess, uh, you have the house to yourself from now on. That really sucks. Maybe, maybe in time I'll get a new wolf, but right now it's too soon. Much too soon. But, oh, also I started, I told, I don't think I told you this, but I started growing grass down. I'm going to grow it down deeper later, but uh, in case I want to get anywhere underground with some grass, I have that started. But okay, I'm going to get ready and eventually enchant some stuff. Okay, I have gotten over the death of my dog. The tragic death of Courage the Wolf. And it's time to move on. So I've made a new diamond pickaxe. And I'm going to use all my 26 levels uh, enchanting it. And hopefully I will get something good. Uh don't know a lot about enchantments, but I figured uh, enchanting a pickaxe would probably be the most useful to me right now. And it seems like swords, even the lower level enchantments, are very useful. So I'm going to use my higher level enchantment that I've been working towards on a pickaxe. Oh, sweet. Silk touch uh, and efficiency, but silk touch is I believe the rarest of the uh, enchantments on pickaxes and stuff like that but let me see I believe yes it allows you to get blocks like grass so I can just uh, basically use it and now I've got grass blocks which I could place which is awesome and I'm gonna have to check I don't know I think it works on spawners too, I think. I'm not positive though. So we're going to have to check that. And uh, so I'm actually going to go right now. This will probably be the end of this episode. I'm going to go read up on uh, Silk Touch and Efficiency 3, which Efficiency I think uses uh, less uh, or like has more uses. I'm not sure sound like a noob right now, but I don't enchant things very often. This is the first real high-level enchantment I've ever done. And all I know is uh, I read that Silk Touch is awesome, so I'm really happy to get that. But anyway, I will go for now, and I will see you guys next time. This is I am Pepino saying thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more awesome videos. We'll see you next time.